and gentlemen and welcome back to your channel Sidescrape here. Today we're going to be looking at my Medusa Arena random play. Um, the build that's on the screen is my the ultimate what I'm going to be trying to work towards towards the end where we get a base attack damage of plus 215, power physical items plus 215, attack speed of 0 0.85 increase, lifesteal plus 35 and penetration physical of 30. Uh, we'll pick through the items as we go along so there'll be no real confusion here. This is going to be the second time I've done a video so please bear with me with any sort of changes that you want to see let me know in the video comment so Medusa uh, her passive is Sidewinder which means that Medusa suffers no penalty when stride strafing and half of the movement penalty when moving backwards my number one ability is quite tasty to be honest with you it's more of a, I guess what a lot of people call calling this steroids attack, I think it is. It's called Viper Shot Medusa gains increased attack speed and her basic attacks become augmented, shooting vipers at poison target, hit dealing damage over time. It's not too bad actually that, if you think about it. And second ability is Acid Spray, Medusa hurls back and spits out acid that damages the first enemy hit in a cone behind them, Acid Spray will explode them on statues the user has created which is quite interesting which is my ultimate ability so popping in here uh, as i've not really played many games i am quite reserved i'm trying to stick back watch what everybody else is doing learn the style and play of my colleagues and work as appropriate we do have a lot of hunters here we have cupids and neath as well so i guess mid end game will be quite tasty we have the emoja as our tank we have slight heal ability and the one thing I've learned about playing Medusa is you've got to be good at aiming your shots. Because if you're not, then it's not going to go well for you, son. Not at all. As you'll find out from a couple of my shots in here. So third ability as well is a lovely little dash. Uh, lacerate. Medusa quickly slithers forward, rooting and slashing her first enemy god she encounters. Slash leaves the enemy god reeling in pain, reducing their heal for short time. Nice bit of armor to heal there. Now, uh, Thanatos is dropping on our a relix. Nah, I should have pushed it a bit early to the right side. But one thing I noticed as well early on is the amount of sheer mana that you're using up on this is significant. I was burning through mana so quickly thinking, well, why can't I use my abilities? What's going on here? And it's, I guess, that you'll have to take into consideration, especially with these abilities. She's a fun build. Fun god to play, but uh, one thing you'll have to learn is just to uh, control your mana, which I'm sucking at. So the Petrify for my ultimate button 4 is it Medusa removes her mask in her true face to a powerful blast delivering a powerful blast from her horrifying Gorgon gaze which is pretty interesting now some of these guys are pretty low health I managed to use my ultimate but <sighs> a few of my I've got to be honest I'm not sure it kind of bit bugs me a bit you're working really hard to get a kill in and then you, you miss out on it but I guess that's just one of those things a kill's a kill for the entire team so that's a good one so first off we've got a rage equipped which gives me physical power, plus 20, critical strike, plus 30, and uh, killing or getting an assist as a passive on enemy god gives you one stack. Each stack provides plus 3% critical chance, stacks are permanently, and stack up to 5 times. It's quite quite tasty. I'm going to try to get some damage on Thanatos, but my mana, again, has been reduced. I managed to use my 3 just to get out of there, my lacerate move, which is a nice little dash. Try to keep our guy alive. And knee sweeps in and gets a go, which is good enough. Second item I've fitted is Spiked Gauntlet, which I'm going to upgrade to Curse Gauntlet, which gives me uh, physical power plus 20 and a physical life steal of 10%. Get back onto the minions. Try to keep all our guys here. Uh, Medusa is pushed in quite heavy. Janus just went and swiped me. So difficult at times to try to learn, but it's, I think it's what fascinates me about this game is the amount of variability of the different gods and what we can actually do with them. So their health is all quite low. Jin just swooped in, I guess, to get a gank. Missed. But will she die? No, she won't. My ultimate isn't ready. I'm going to move left to try to get down on Ares. I guess I could have used my ultimate there, couldn't I? Right there and killed maybe two or three people. I could have at least hit Ares as well as Jin, but I didn't. Anyway. Four kills to two. We're in the lead slightly with a four ticket lead. Going for Ninja Tabby, which gives me uh, a nice little boost, really. We're moving back into the field. Ah, how are you finding the content so far? Is it. Well, no, maybe not helpful for you older players, obviously, but uh, <laughs> for me, it's alright. I'm looking at moving towards Ninja Tabby shortly. 
I tried to use a move on Jin, but the ultimate was blocked by Ares, which was a nice little move. If you're going to get ulted as well by Medusa, just turn around as soon as you can do, as soon as you see her start to flash gold. I'm going to move left side jungle, or am I? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> ah, your emoji didn't get much damage in there. Not tanky much. I'm going to try to push left side, try to increase my level, get a bit more damage as well. Use my acid attack. And then use my uh, extra damage, the Vipers. So we're 23 tickets ahead. I'm not really paying much attention on the map. If you look, there's only four, three of them at the time. No tank. Kind of could have pushed in four of them now. And our team has been hit quite hard. So I'm going to have to stick left. Try to kill the minions. Otherwise, that's an extra sort of six tickets could have gone through. What difference could I have made there? Do you know what I mean? So it's just like I need to try to consider it on the map all by yourselves. Do you look at the map enough? Are you aware? I've only recently used a HUD editor to be able to move the map slightly to the left and increase the size so that when you press escape during the game, you'll see it says HUD editor and you can just alter it and move things around a wee bit. So I might remove some of the clutter off the screen as well, which can be quite confounding for me. So we're up five kills. I've just got Bloodforge, which is nice. And we wait to Ninja Taddy. So Blood Forge gives me passive killing an enemy god forge a shield from their blood with health equal to 200 plus 10 per level player level for 20 seconds. While a blood shield is active, you gain a plus 10% movement. Also, physical power, 75, life steal, 75. So able to hit Ares quite hard there. The damage is quite nice. Tried to get a move on with my lacerate on Thanatos, but completely misplay. I didn't have my timing right on the rest of my abilities, which is a bit stupid. I guess that's a learning curve for anybody who's playing the game. Try to keep the mini gills up. We're only 12 tickets ahead for three kills, so it's not really much in there. We get wiped, we'll be in the... Ah, I was here in Artworth, but in the pooper, I guess. Ares did a nice pull, keep it down. And we're losing all our people, so now we're more or less tied. I'm trying to try to keep Thanatos off your mojo. So, looking back there, I guess I should have tried to push it a bit harder, but then again, should I? Like here, I could have used my ultimate, probably kill Thanatos and Ares early, keep myself alive. But I guess it's going to be more of an instinctual thing of when you know when to use your abilities and when not to panic, because I was in ultimate panic mode there, if I'm honest with you. Oh. Uh, so now we have the Ninja Tabby at full tier 3, physical power plus 20, mana plus 100, attack speed of 25% and movement speed of 18, which is quite nice. I'll change this out in the end though. Uh, Ninja Tabby and boots or anything else, sh shoes of Meiji, Meiji, whatever. Shoes of focus, it's only something I'll use in the initial stage of the game and switch out for something that will benefit my character. I'm trying to stay here to see if we can turn around and boost, uh, boost, burst on Medusa, but Thanatos got the drop on me, did some damage, and then the two kills were taken by Neath, which, yeah, one of those things. I know when I lost, when I play this game, oh, Jingwei was killed by Neath. It's, uh, I spend a lot of time trying to support people, keeping them alive, and I've noticed I'll play with a lot of other people who will just go straight for the kill no matter what. There I died. I should have peeled back. It was obvious my health was too low. And you should used her dash or lacerate to move in to get me. Not doing too bad. Neath has a good couple of kills. But Neath, I'm not sure if there was a crit build. So I'm moving towards at least the Asai. I missed two shots on Thanatos with my one ability with the extra damage. Which would have probably killed Thanatos, reducing their overall damage on the field. But there we go. Our guys are pushing in a bit too deep. It's going to go dip in, get a bit of health back, push back out, get the minions right side assist Neath. I have found a really nice uh, Neath build recently. A lot of these builds as well, by the way. It's not obviously some I'm concocting. I've taken them off uh, Smite Guru and places like that. I've also been looking at Incarn, Interacts, DM Brannon, and finding out what works and trying to look at it. I'm not just trying to copy other people's builds, which you would ask yourselves not to do as well. Not in the whole. Uh, try to look at it so you can 
understand some of the item abilities as I'm reading them out now. It's just it'll make it a lot easier if you can understand. Then you can, if you need to do, you can switch out if you're getting too much physical damage for breastplate of valor, and uh, for, as an example, or you need more burst damage. You know which one to be able to use. Use my special. Didn't really do much damage to Jingwei. Bit of a waste there, but at least it pushed some of them back. We do have no minions to push in, so eh, it's not that productive really. We've got an assist. Thanatos is pushing back into base, which is was a good one. Jingwei is down. Cuba gets the kill. Lovely. Ares is pushing out on his own, though. Not too bad. Mid use to the left side. I'm trying to keep an eye on her. In case she tries to use ultimate. Thanatos dropped down, killed our Cupid. Poor little dude. Neath down. There's not much I can really do there. It's far too much damage output for what I can do. Look at that. Complete miss time. Could have killed. Cupid's going to finish and get the kill, but that should have been mine. But because of my own silly ability of players. Not doing too bad though. Go for the execution next. Execution is at max level. Which is increasing my overall uh well, left auto attack. I guess AA. AA is something some terminology I'm gonna bring out a video shortly with some of the terminology which I struggled with in the initial concept when I was playing games with people and saying, Oh, you wanna do an AA build? I'm like what's that? Anti aircraft? What? And there it means auto attack and there's a few other things that you'll have to pick up. The execution though, passive. Gives basic attacks against an enemy reduce your target's physical protection by 12% for 3 seconds. Maximum of 3 stacks. Gives me physical power plus 30 and attack speed of plus 25. Which isn't too bad really. So I'm not build for protection. I'm build for... Ah, oh, base damage really. I always did a nice pull. I took a bit of damage off Medusa. Sorry, a bit of health off Medusa. I had to pull back though. The damage is quite real there. Keeper gets a kill. On Jin. Thanatos, will he die? Oh, he was killed. Lovely job there. Keep the pressure on try to get our minions. You can see the stack queue behind us. All the minions coming in. Their siege is up. Second siege. Our second siege has already died. They've got no real protection here, so we'll be able to kill it quite quickly. They're Janus. Must be quite a new player. Because I know a lot of times I've been killed from long range. You know, with their ultimate. I'm not sure if you know. When you fire the ultimate, uh, it, it goes... Uh, if it's over 800 units distance, it does more damage. It goes through and your players and your team can walk through the walls as well. I'm not sure how it works fully, but it's just information I picked up as I can't be long. Cupid can be quite helpful with those little drops that she's doing there. Now see what we're going to go for the next build. Go for the Crusher. So the Crusher gives me passive. Enemies hit by your damaging abilities take an additional 20 physical damage plus 15% of your physical power over 2 seconds. Gives me physical power of plus 30, attack speed of 20% increase, physical penetration of 15. How is he pushing in quite deep there? And we nicely killed while the ultimate was up, which is nice. I'm not sure why I do was pulling in so far. Far too deep. So we're 30 tickets ahead, 35 tickets, not doing too bad, 28 kills, 21. It's not such a game where, oh, yeah, Thanatos moved there, that was just wonderful. He timed it, he knew he was going to come around the corner, I was going to try to peek on him, and he dropped his uh, ability, whatever it is, quite long range, heals himself, and it hurts me quite a lot. They've only got four people on the field, one still in cooldown. Quite an interesting game. Quite like Medusa, as long as you can aim well, which unfortunately I can't do. The damage, if you look at the auto attacks there, 150 damage. She's quite nice. Nice, these gets a kill in again. Wonder what difference there would be in a game if I just went for pure kills only, not trying to pull back, switch left to right lanes to try to help the team. Not as a criticism, but just as an improvement for myself. I wonder if that's what the difference is between myself and uh, an eSports player, apart from obviously raw skill, is that they, they've got the know knowledge of when to get in for the kill, to get the gank. Our siege is up, third one. Reduce right side, looks like she's going to try to pull in, kill Neath or myself. Managed to drop back. Ares is going to go for the pull. Okay, didn't work. Managed to get the kill myself. So they're two down, minions moving up. We don't really have anybody else who's pushing up, so I'm going to nip back in. 
upgrade the next part. So I'm switching out for a sign now. This will be uh, final just to fill the grid. But we're swapping out later. So pass if you drop below 35% health, you get an additional 30% physical lifesteal for 5 seconds. Can only call once every 15 seconds. Physical power plus 20, physical lifesteal plus 20%. Attack speed a 25% increase and physical penetration of 50, which is quite nice. It's quite where it gets quite nice. I'm now level 20 as well, so my abilities and my auto attacks are quite damaging. Thanos is. Oh, sorry, Jingwei is up. <laughs> Jingwei really confused when first played. Not sure about anyone else. So when you first walk out of uh, the, the fountain thingy, and then all of a sudden. Oh, really? Cupid? All that damage and I managed to take the kill? Oh well. Time to shine. I'm going to try to stick with our guy, but I wasn't able to do anything to stop the death. I may be able to finish off, and thankfully, Cupid wasn't able to steal. I mean, uh, get the kill. Yeah. Mojo is in quite deep. Medusa's gone to swim around. He's died. I guess you used a special. I'll try to keep on your Mojo. Towards the end. 14 tickets left for them. 12. 37 to 25. So it's quite an interesting game. It's nice to be able to play a sort of level uh, when you first play a new character. Otherwise, it can be quite difficult. Hey, Janus. Uh, Janus. He's stuck right, quite far to the back, hasn't he? The guy's going to die again. I want to forget the kill on. Thanatos, will I be able to get the damage in? I don't think so, and I am down. Far too confident, cocky, but I was trying to drop the tickets down by an extra five for the kill. Going for Kins. Quins? Sass? Sayus? Sayus? Or however you pronounce that. So I got rid of my boots. This gives me a passive or basic attack hits. Physical damage equal to 3% of the target's maximum health. The target has over 2,000 health, but the damage scales. This effect reaches a maximum of 5% of attacks, maximum health of 2750. Gives me an attack speed of 20%. So my auto attacks will be a lot faster now. Nice to get the kill on Janus. Thanos drops in on me. Guess a bit of desperation there. I was able to get the final kill. Bosch done, double kill. Not too bad a game. Quite interesting. I need to look at improving on my ability to be able to hit the target and also leading. I've played a lot of world tanks. I don't mean to use it as a reference, but you know when you're you spend your time looking at 1400 mil meters a second the shell travels here, you, I need to be able to aim ahead of where they're going to move, which is something I've not got my eye on yet, but we'll be able to do in the future. So I just get nine kills. Neath 13, Cupid 8. They were all not bad. 39,000 player damage, 58,000 minion damage. Anyway, well, thank you very much for watching. I will see you shortly. I'll see you all there. Stay safe.